Happy Monday, everyone. This is a pick a card reading for today, December 7th, Monday. If you're new to this, you pick a card, it's your main energy, and then I pull it all together anyway. And December 7th, birthdays, we will do your, we'll do your reading next. If you pick card number one for December 7th, Monday, you have the Nine of Swords. Oh, I like the glare, huh? Okay, so the Nine of Swords. Yeah, Nine of Swords. Um, well, you know, there's something that you're still working on, but it's telling me you need to take brain breaks, okay? Um, watch the health and well-being because I feel that you're overworking, overthinking something. There are some fears or something that, or a worry or something that is um, present here, okay? I do feel the energy of a Scorpio or someone who exhibits those energies, but, you know, just... Be cautious, and, but the thing at the same time, you really need to kind of stop overthinking things because the work you put in, I feel here, is going to pay off, okay? Just a little bit more before you're going to see some kind of results is what I'm feeling here. If you pick card number two for December 7th, Monday, you have the seven of wands, okay? Now, you got a lot of things you want to do. You want to get the, um, things moving and going. Things have been a process. You're definitely standing your ground and, and getting things done. Now, what I feel here is if you're dealing with someone, um, this has been maybe a cyclical cycle or something like that. Okay, so I do see that energy. And this is um, with someone that you know I feel is, um, this is present today. You've been disappointed and disappointed with this person. There was a sense of you kind of try to cut this person or this situation out, okay? But it's like you're a little bit defensive because maybe this person wants to offer some kind of, um, I don't know, um, extend a hand or something. But um, there, it can, something can be resolved. Let's put it this way. I do see an ending with like a celebration or things working out in a way. But don't overdo anything. You will get things done. Things are still a little bit of a process thing. You will get things done, okay? Maybe you're just disappointed with people around you. It's like you're getting things done and you want them to do things and they're taking and they're dilly-dallying, you know what I mean? So you will get things done, all right? That's one thing I do feel there. If you pick card number three for today, December 7th, Monday, you have the 10 of Wands. Wow, definitely trying to get things done. That's an answer, getting things done, right? Um, It's like you feel like, for some of you, it's like you're feeling a little bit that you're not moving forward much, but you are actually accomplishing and getting um, things done, definitely, um, releasing a burden, and it's going to be worth it. It's like all the work that's been put in, I feel, here is a, uh, is worth it. You may be uh, dealing with a Sagittarius today and a Pisces. I pick up those energies or who someone who exhibits those energies. Um, I feel there's a rebirthing here. There's a new spiritual and emotional path opening up as well, okay? Through that feeling stuck and frustration, you will um, be able to manifest as well. So very interesting um, reading that we're seeing here. All right, when we pull it together, Nine of Swords, Seven of Swords, and look, look where we come to, Ten of Wands. So yeah, you know, maybe you're worried about getting things done, you're pushing things far, but you will complete things, okay? So we're seeing that. Um, it's like there's a sense of perfectionism today. So we have to lighten up a little, not be oversensitive. Um, it's like we could be just very critical with others and with ourselves. So we're, we could be our own worst enemies, okay? There is assistance. There's help here, but I don't know if it meets your expectations today. That's another thing. For some of you, you're a little bit touchy, okay? There's like uh, dealing with these um, insecurities or... I don't know, um, almost like, um, can I do this? Can I, can't I do this type of energy? There's an Aquarius that's present too, is what I'm feeling, or the energy of an Aquarius. It's like there's a lot of um, daydreaming type of energy. Um, you're thinking of things or the future while, you, uh, while you're going through the process today. Um, there will be, uh, things will come to an end. Your end of a difficult cycle is definitely coming through here. Don't focus on who's hurt you, who's betrayed you, who's done that. Just keep moving forward. That's another energy I see. Because you come to a completion, we're done here, and there is good luck on our side. I do feel that as an underlining energy. And we are working toward an abundant energy. So accomplishments, abundance, luck on our side, Okay. Great. Well, that was the reading for today, December 7th, Monday. I hope you have a wonderful day. Now, December 7th, babies, if you're born today or you know someone born today, happy birthday. This is a very quick reading, a focus on your soul or your theme and your wish. So you make a wish. I'll flip this at the end. 
if you uh, people ask me, do I offer birthday readings? Of course I do. They're on my website under Solar Years, something similar to this, and many others. So people, so so people do ask me. So you, so you know. Okay, so let's see. This uh, Solar Year theme for today is not for today for your Solar Year is the Two of Cups. This is a year where communications bonding is going to be very important. Not superficial conversations. Not in its deep leveled ones. Uh, you need to go deeper. Uh, mean what you say. Any promises that you make or any conversations that you make, people are going to remember them. So this is a year where uh, the theme I'm seeing, partnerships, communication, speaking from the heart is going to be important because it will be remembered. Um, so make sure whatever you do, get involved with who, a partnership, whatever it is done from the heart um, things can't be uh, surface level anymore. They have to be deep rooted and from the heart. Whatever that will mean in your life with um, anyone that you communicate with in love, family, partnerships, work, whatever it is. Okay. So I do feel that energy. I feel there's a win win situation this year. Okay, you between another person, you between another situation. It's a win-win um, situation. Um, and I feel a lot of things will come and res be resolve themselves just in the nick of time um, when you least expect it. Uh, so there could be sudden communications where there wasn't. Um, it's a very good energy. There's success and moving forward this year. For work and career or school or whatever you do most of the, uh, most of the day, there you're, you could be a little bit too defensive. And that is not good because you may win some situations or arguments or conflicts or whatever with coworkers, but then you will lose, um, you'll lose friends. You'll lose, um, there's a sense of, there's a sense of a loss here. Okay. So I do see that. So watch what you say or, um, any arguments, but I do see that this is a year where your perspectives may change too. And, or the, what you think where your career direction will go or work. For a lot of you, it may be leaving a job, but it can be sudden because of an argument or you don't like something. So don't make quick decisions because you could be, uh, you know, cutting off your nose to spite your face. Uh, you know what I mean? Type of energy. So I see a lot of you leaving your job and going for something else, but you could be a little bit too defensive. So there are some changes and um, and changes of the way you think about um, your job and career. When it comes to finances, uh, there is opportunities. Uh, maybe you'll receive a payment back that um, a check in the mail, something you've been waiting for or offers um, coming through, maybe more credit card offers. I don't know, but I do see that. So there's good news and um, offers and opportunities with finances. For some of you, you're starting off on your own. Maybe you uh, broke broke up, um, divorced or something, and you're starting off financially, starting to save for yourself, or you're moving out of your parents' house. I don't know. I just see a new beginning with um, finances, okay? So we are seeing that, and there's going to be a lot of offers and opportunities. When it comes to love and relationships, if you are single, I do feel that there is a lot of lessons that you've learned and um, valuable lessons, and you're going to apply that with um, the relationships that you do meet. I feel for some of you, you may meet somebody that is already has an established uh, career, uh, financially stable, um, or a family. Uh, the person may be wealthy. This person may come with money is what I'm feeling here, okay? So there is something there. Remember, it's a very general reading. Um, if you're already in a relationship, you may be buying property this year. There may be um, significant money, maybe uh, wills, um, investments, but money is showing up. So there's a lot of growth in relationships or um, investments. That's what I'm feeling. When it comes to all relationships, this is a year where a lot of lessons have been learned and applying them with the relationships for each person individually. This is a come together, a lot of growth. This could, this could be everything you desire and want is there for you. You just have to put some effort in it too. Likewise on both sides. So I do see that energy too. So there could be even a gathering, I feel, of friends or um, something like that too. So it's something's coming to a climax with relationships. There are some changes, okay? And closing up some karmic um, cycles or uh, karmic completions, okay? Um. This is also a year to count your blessings, okay? Laziness is not going to cut it. There's a sense that you've been lazy about some things or procrastinating. It's not going to cut it this year. Uh, counting your blessings but being more motivated is going to get you resort, uh, um, rewards. And don't miss out opportunities that are presented to you, okay? 
Um, for your wish for your solar year, let's see, is ooh, the tower. Okay, so how are we seeing this? Um, in a few ways. For some of you, make a smaller wish now. And then make a, or divide that wish somehow, I want to say. A smaller wish now and then the rest will be granted later is what I'm feeling. There is an answered prayer, a karmic reward here. It's like sudden. It may come suddenly. Um, for some of you, I feel some of this wish has already come to fruition. You have to look deeper. Okay, because I the roots there are really yeah, telling me that. For others, th there is a no here because there is something that's just, um, that needs to be broken down. Okay, it's too frozen. It's immovable. But also, I do feel with the yes that I feel for some, it's very slow. Um, it's um, slow moving and then it's going to suddenly um, come to uh, fruition. But then it's going to be, it's going to build on something practical. That wish will help you build practicality. And something that will be stable, too. Otherwise, you know, it can crash down easy. So be careful what you wish for. This could be just a breakthrough as well, okay? Well, um, the important numbers for your solar year is 7, 4, 10, 1, 5, 2. Those are the numbers came to me. I hope you have a very happy birthday, a wonderful solar year ahead, and everyone else a very a wonderful Monday, and bye for now.